Do you want to learn how to create lyric video for your songs or earn money doing it for others? If that is the case, you are in the right place. My name is Frederick from the Launi Creative Studio and today I will be showing you how to create lyric video in Movavi Video Suite. Movavi has tons of different multimedia products like video converter, screen recorder, video editor and many more. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, this will be our interface the very first time we open Movavi Video Suite. So let's start a new project. Okay, we are now in our workspace. Let me give you a brief explanation of what each part does in particular. Top right corner, we have a video preview area uh, where we can see how our edit looks like. And downside, we have a timeline. This is where we drag and drop our footage and arrange in the right order. So we drop our images here, we drop our videos here, we also drop our music here. This is where we carry out most of the edits, uh, cut, delete, and many more. On top by the left, we have a toolbar with a lot of tabs. I'll explain in detail on how to use the tabs in this section as we proceed in this tutorial. Firstly, we need to import a footage into Movavi. So if we go to the first tab by the left and top, we'll see Add Files. So I click on Add Files. Now we have to locate where we have our image. I will importing first our images. I will also be showing us two ways to import images, to import your footage or your images or your audio files into Movavi. Right now, I am going to select all the images we have here, click in the, on, uh, on the image folder. So I want to import all these images at once. So I click on the first image, press Shift on my keyboard, Scroll down to the last image Y still pressing shift on my keyboard and I click on the last image. I have all the images been selected. So I click on open. And now our images are uh, being imported into Movavi. As you can see here, I have all the images imported into our media bin. So now I'm going to show you the other way to import our image. Look for the folder that contain the images. I have uh, all our images here in this folder. I'll be importing two of this background. Select the, the images you want to import, drag and drop into Movavi. Now we have our two images being imported. We have the two images being imported. The same applies to video. If you want to import your footage, you can go to File, Import hard files. We'll locate 
Let's look at our footage here. Like we did the first time, you can click on the first, the very first footage, press shift, select the last and you have all imported. But in this case, I will not be using all the images, all the, all the footage here. So I will select few that I know I will be using. I'm selecting this, I press down, control on my keyboard to select separate images, uh, se separate videos. I will be using these, I will be using these, I will be using these. I click on open. Now, our footage has been imported into the media bin, as you can see here. In this section, I'll be showing you where to locate or to download free stock images and videos. As you can see on this page, I have this website called pixelbay.com. We have thousands, if not millions of free stock and high quality images here. Just type what you want. In my case, I want the image of a potter. Type in potter. I have the, the numbers of images here available to download. So I zoom, I want to download these. I click on it, free download. And as you can see down here, under the license, the free for commercial use, no attribution required. Pixel Bay is a vibrant community of creatives for your perfect free images and videos that you can use for any purpose, either commercial or not commercial. Like I said earlier, no attribution is required. The next one is on splash.com. The same thing. I want to download image of a portrait because the song I am creating the lyrics or uh, has something to do with the potter. The title of the song is The Potter by Mary T. Melody, a gospel artist. So we have our images here. Church, business, any type of image that you wanted. The third one is pixels.com slash videos where you can download all types of videos you wanted. In my case, like I said earlier, I want a video of a porter. We have many here. You can use any of this video without having any problem. Pixel Bay video, the same thing. can use any of these videos without any problem. Now that we know where to download free stock images and videos, and that I have imported some of uh, these images and footage into my media bin, now let me show you how to put all these images and videos together in the timeline. I'll start by taking the background, I'll be using this background to preview the background to preview any image or video just click on it and you see it being previewed in the preview section by the right i'll drag and drop this background to the timeline to extend hold the edge and drag okay i'll drag up to this uh up to two minutes for now, though I will still have to drag more. And I'll also be importing in right now our audio file. File import, add file, locate the folder that contains the audio. And this is it, I'm gonna import it. This song is a gospel song uh, been composed and written by a gospel artist called Mary T. Melody. 
we're going to import this into a media bin. Now we have a song here. I will drag and drop this song to the timeline. All right. We have a song being imported into the timeline. Uh, we'll be building, putting up all these images and uh, videos all together here. As I said earlier, I think what I have to do uh, now is to drag in the flyer of the song. I'm putting this right in front. I want to put it on top of this uh, background. Okay, I am also dragging a footage into the timeline. Let me see if I have the footage here or I have to import it. We have to import the footage. So we'll go to File Import, Add Files, Locate the footage folder. This is the footage. All right. I'm dragging and drop this also into the timeline. Now, in this case, this video contains a audio files, which I am I am not interested in using this one. I don't want to use it. With I double click on the audio file and click delete. I'm interested in only the video, so I delete the, the audio. Now, I want to reduce the opacity, the visibility of, these, uh, of this image as I don't want it to be too visible. So how do I do this? I click on it until the properties of the clip show, clip properties show, you double click on the, I double click on the footage. Now I have the property visible. So I am going to reduce the visibility, this is the opacity from 100% to something about 16% and press return on my keyboard. Now our image is, our image visibility is now being reduced, which I, I like, I'm liking it right now. So what I want to do, another thing I want to do is the beginning of this, at the beginning of this footage, I noticed something black. So what I want to do is that I want to cut part of this footage all. So let's say something from here. Can click on this cut scissors icon here or right click on the area where you want to cut and click split. Now we have this footage being now we have this footage being splitted. I want to delete this area. Select the clip you want to delete or the video you want to delete and click on delete or return or delete on your keyboard. Okay. I think we are good so far. All right, and I want this. Uh, I want these uh, image. I also want to reduce the opacity of this image, the visibility of the image. I double click on the on the flyer, this flyer of the of the song, and reduce a little bit the opacity. I also want to reduce the size. To do this, I click on the image, right click, I go to tools, select overlay. Now I have the option that allow me to drag from the edge uh, image, drag and drop to the center until you see this green line vertically and horizontally that says, that shows that our image is being centralized. All right. Now we have an image at the middle, which I I like for now. 
Like I said earlier, uh, this song talks about the porter. So I want to add a video of a porter. I will also be reducing the visibility. I mean the opacity of this uh, of the video. So how do I do this? I go back to a uh, media bin and look for this footage, which I believe I've imported in. Uh, yeah, of course, I have it here. Drag and drop. Drag and drop the video. As you can see, this video also have a audio file, which I'm not interested in. So I double click on the audio files and click delete. Now we have a, a video without the audio file. I will be cutting some part of this video off. Oh, let's see this. First, I will be reducing the opacity. Of double click. I'll leave it at 16. A 16 which I think is okay yeah I'll hold the edge by the left and drag to the front to reduce the size of this video the length of the video okay I think I'm going to bring down right now. I will mute a song. Good. I from this area I split and delete this uh, part of the video. Okay, I think this is good. I also I'm also cutting out this path. Delete this. Cutting out this part of a video. I think we are ready to go. Cut out this part. Uh, the cutting of this. Yeah, this end is all right. I'll be deleting this part also. I I think let me drag exactly. I need where the view this particular area. I think I'm done. I think I think this is okay. All right. Yeah, split, and this is no longer needed. Okay. Press the space bar to play a clip to see what we have done so far. Exactly, this is okay. I will be extending a background more. This is a PNG image that I, I, I removed the background in the Photoshop, save as a PNG image, and now we have it in here as an overlay image. We have another PNG image here that I will be using. Drop down. 
We'll also be using these. We'll also be using this PNG image as overlay. I want it here, I'm importing in. Another file, go to file, file import, add files. Now I have to locate the other, I don't have it here. Now let's see in the video. All right. Okay, we'll be using this, uh, be using these drag and drop drop up here is go under And use the scroll wheel, the scroll wheel on your mouse, on your mice to zoom, to enlarge and reduce the size of the image. I'll speed up this video because of time. Sit back and enjoy. You are the Potter Jesus. I am your clay. Remove me, Jesus, to what you want me to be. Hallelujah. A Potter has authority to mold the clay. Into the type of vessel he wants to make it. The clay has no control over the matter. You are the potter. Remote me to what you want. A potter has authority to mold a clay. Remote me to what you 
okay. After putting the images and the videos together, this is the final result as you can see on the timeline. Very good. Now that we've finished putting up our images and videos together, it's time to start a lyric text. As we can see, our texts are grouped in different categories. So I uh, will be selecting, we're clicking on the icon, the T icon, and we'll click on all to see all the list of, uh, of the text that we have available here. I will be using this text here called video series to have this to my timeline. I right click and click hard to current position. All right. I'm going to make few modifications here. On top, we don't need this uh, by the left on top. So therefore, I select it and I drag it to the left until I'm no longer seeing this in the time frame. I also don't need the background, so we'll do the same thing, drag until it's no longer visible in the time frame. So this, we're gonna make it longer. I think it's okay like this. For now, drag left and right until we have something like this. Good. Let's listen to a song to hear the wordings. Play. A potter has authority to mold the clay. It says a potter has authority to mold the clay. Authority to mold the clay. Now I would like to change the font of this uh, text and how the background. Look, we'll look for a bold font. I think this will be fine. All right. Now I like to have the background. We'll check the box here. Good. But I think this background, this black background is too harsh. So I would like to reduce the opacity. I click on the color bucket, select my color picker and click right here. I think this is okay. Good. Now I want to make sure that my text is at the center. So therefore I, uh, drag until I see this green line that indicates that our text is right at the center. Okay, let's listen to our song again to be sure if uh, this text is well positioned. A potter has authority A potter has authority To mold the clay into the type of vessel he wants to make it. Okay, it says into the type of vessel he wants to make it. So I'm going to duplicate this text here. I duplicate, I copy and paste right in front here. And I'm going to put it a bit on top of this. Into the type of vessel. I uh, will be increasing the size of the font here. Um, let me see. Let's leave it this way. Reduce it. Uh, all right. We'll drag this to the front, uh, to, this, to the center, to be sure. It's uh, at the center. Now we have the green, the green uh, line, which shows that our text is at the center. Now let's play from here and see. 
Into the so it's from here. Hold on, see. Into the type of drag a little bit more. Into the type. I think a little bit more. Let's play. Into the type of it. Into the type. All right, we have it. Then this we drag here. Let's play from here. Into the type of vessel. To the type of vessel, we we'll drag here. Now, one of the things that can be done is we can create a preset, a preset from this, uh, this font, this text style. And how do we do that? Double click. Then we check on top by the left new preset so i'm gonna call this new text type save good if we click on all now we have a preset here we have a preset here so we can easily insert it into a timeline without having to retype again so let's listen again to a song to know the next uh, the next the next uh, words he wants to a type of vessel so all right, to insert a newly created uh, text preset, it's, it's just we just need to right click and insert just as we did earlier. He wants to make it. Now we can edit this by double clicking on it and say he wants to make it. All right, let's check from this. So oh, he wants to make it the clay. I'll drag a little bit here. He wants to, to make, make it. it. The clay has no control over the mat. All right. It says, Make. it says the clay has no control over the matter. So I will be copying this because it's longer. So we'll copy and we'll paste here. I'm going to put it up here. I'm arranging it this way so that it can be easy for me to locate any texture in case of a problem. I think this is okay. I would like to stretch a little bit our background. Okay, I drag a bit to exactly we have it now. Drag a little bit down. Let's check and see if our text is well aligned. The clay has. The clay has no control over the matter you are. The you are the porter. Remote me to what you want. All right. You are the porter. So I will be inserting a, a text preset. As you are the porter, okay. Drag a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left. Let's check if it's well aligned. You are the porter, you are the porter, you are the porter. 
Remote me to war. You are the porter. Okay. Remote me to what you want. All right. We'll duplicate again these. Paste and align. Remote me. I think we are good. This we'll pull that the middle. Yeah, we have it at the center. Let's play and see. Remote me to what you want. Remote me to what you want. Drag a little bit here. We we'll check the next text. So since this song repeats itself again, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy all of this. Copy all of this, right click, copy. Now we're going to paste it right here in front. Let's play and see if our text fits in. Have to drag a little bit to the back. Into the type of this. I think we are ready. Right. Have to drag a little bit to the front. Wonderful, I think we are good for now. I'm gonna start from the beginning to see how this goes. A potter has authority to mold the clay into the type of vessel he wants to make it. The clay has no control over the matter. You are the porter. Remote me to what you want. Porter has authority to mold a clay into the type of vessel. He wants to make it. Okay, now that you know how to create lyric text in the timeline, I will speed up this video because of time. You are the porter. Remote me to what you want. Porter has authority to mold a clay into the type of
crush beyond what I can stand. Strength failed me. Lord, you are near to the broken heart. I need you, Lord. Remote me to the kind of vessel you need. I am yours. Take Now that you've finished the project, it's time to export this project out. There are two different ways to do this. Check on top and click export. Export video, export audio, upload to YouTube, upload to, one, to Google Drive, upload to Vimeo. But I prefer the, the, the export option right below the preview area click export type the title of your video select the location i've already selected this to the to my desktop to export it to my desktop 
I will be selecting the highest quality, though it might be heavier, but I prefer the highest quality. And I'll be selecting MP4 as the format for the video. You have a lot here that you can select the paint on, on your project. Then we'll click on Start Exporting. This might take time, the paints on your graphics card. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos like this. If you have any questions, please drop your comments below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.